have here one example. Please read it. I recommend you. I'm going to make a pause as well so you can read it. Now, a distillation column is being fed by a stream of 45% benzene. Okay. And the balance is to length, which is rapidly 55%. If you don't believe me, calculate it. The product D flow contains 95% of the benzene. This not mean is the this is not composition, they are telling you the 95% of the of this benzene is in the product D. 8% of the fed of benzene is being produced in the bottoms. Okay, we have more data. If fit F flow is 2000 kilograms per hour, determine the flow in D, the mass flow in benzene, and to the end in the bottoms. So technically they're asking everything. The flow in D and the flow in the bottoms, and not only that, they want to know how much benzene and to the end. So you need the compositions as well. So you gotta work a lot. I bring you this example, hopefully you understand it. It's number one, I told you before, draw and label. Draw your diagram, here I draw the stream entering, I have this data, I put it in, and I don't. I know it's 0.35, I could write this, it's easy, because why, to do, why do you do this like a, as a complicated calculation when it is so easy? So write it. You have your unit operation block, which is the distillation. Yeah, you could use a tower, whatever you want. You have this flow, which is the vapor ones, which is D, and you have this flow, which is the buttons. You know this is 0.45 of benzene here. This is not composition, is 95% of the initial benzene. And I write generally notes that cannot be like introduced in the diagram. Look, note one is 8% of the benzene in two, which I think is this. In feed is the equivalent to benzene in B. And note two, I know that B times XB in benzene will give me the amount of total benzene that I am request for to calculate. And B, which is bottom, times the molar composition or mass composition of toluene in bottoms, which is this one, will give you the toluene, which I am asked for. So good. Now it's time to choose a basis of calculation. Use the problem feed, why not? We could use 100 and we will need to divide and then at the end of the problem we will have also to multiply but why not use 200 from the beginning? Good. It's not that you have to, but it will make it easy. Number three, tag all variables. In F you get XBF, XTF. B means benzene and T means toluene. F means in F, D means in distillate, and B means in bottoms. So this is kind of tricky because it's mass fraction of benzene in bottoms. So this is tricky, guys. Put attention in this. Pay attention, please. And good, I just like circled this because these are variables that I invented myself. This is for letter B. They asked me the amount of benzene and toluene in this flow. Here, here they are. Now, number four, count all variables and equations before actually solving. So, I got three flows and six compositions, a total of nine. Good. I got two equations in the mass balance. I got five implicit equations, which is one four composition and one flow. I got one eight percent ratio equation that I can relate, and finally I got one restriction in the composition. So thankfully I got 9. Since the number of equations is the number of variables, I can solve it. So let's do it. Now, let's convert all volumetric flows, sorry about this, volumetric flows to mass flows and mole flows. So thanks God in this problem we don't have nothing about that, so we don't need. Convert all data, mass, moles, uh, mole, mass flow, molar flow, to either mass or mole. We don't need it because everything is in mass. And number seven, let's translate, translate all the text to equations. 
So from node 1, you know 8% is something. So we read 8% of the feed of benzene. So this is already benzene in the feed, benzene in feed. And they tell you that 8% of this benzene in the feed is the benzene going in the bottoms. This is benzene going in bottoms. So now again, I want to repeat it. This is benzene in the feed, or being fed. So that's why here is X and F, because to get the amount of benzene in F. But they tell you that only 8% goes to the bottom. So you got this new equation, which could be also the same as to say 92%, also the other percent, goes to the destillate, whatever you want. Now, write mass balance equations. Mass balancing global and mass balancing one uh, species. You could do the other one, but they will only... Number three and four are the ones that are going to work for you. They're going to give you the values you're looking for. So simply from the balance, you know, you have this. You have inlet is F, outlet is T and B. So just solve it and you have this. Now, mass balance in benzene will be the same, just at the fraction here, fraction here, and fraction here. Good. Now, do the math. You have everything to do, so just substitute. I substituted F here. Here goes F. You got this value, yes, in the destillate, so it's okay. And you know that this is what I'm asked for. And what else? Okay, another time. F, this data, you have it. So from here, just to let you know, we have this value too, it's here, and XBB is the thing I'm, I'm looking for. So actually this is, I think I use C. So we have three equations and three variables. I don't have D, I don't have B, and I don't have BXBB. So let's continue. We can solve it. And from... The, this one is that one here, I'm solving and then I get D, which will be probably that one here, so, yeah. no, or right here. So we get D, from D we go to substitute this in number 3, which is this one, it's very very easy, 2000 equals this flow, just find B and you find B. And from 1, which is this one over here, you just need to substitute all the data that you have, you will get 72. But you're looking actually for XP, so 72 in the total gives you this percent. Nice. Now, we know we in the first one, letter A, we are asked for the destillate. Destillate, we have it. As a direct variable, good. And in the second one, we are asked for the benzene in the bottoms, which is XB, or the fraction of benzene, in the bottoms. We have both values, which is actually C. Go back. It's, uh, where is the value? XB is this one. Look how they relate. So we just answer the problem or solve it. The conclusion, if you follow the methodology I showed you before, it helps. Of course you need to learn it, but it's also common sense, so don't worry. The difficult part I told you before is the assumption of equations, variables, data, how to relate them, and essentially that. Mass balance are easy if data is known. The more data you know, the easier it becomes. So if you need more exercise and problems about the mass balance with no reaction, mass balance of one unit with no reaction, or degree of freedom analysis, or whatever probably I have it there in my course, go to this web page, which will be available, available. go to the section of courses, choose mass balance course and go to the problem section. You will find the problem index there which 
probably you will like because you will choose. I want to practice mass balance in no reaction. And you click it and you get them. So that was everything I was going to do in this video. Keep going because it's not over. We still have more to do. We are only like in the 30% of our class, so just keep going.